Hi, Phil Kurth here from Hookturn with a brief look at my brand new plugin, ACF Remote Sync. Now, ACF Remote Sync is basically a convenience tool for quickly and easily moving uh, ACF field groups between two or more ACF powered websites. It's all done via the UI, so there's no need to worry about moving JSON files, uh, migrating databases, or manually exporting and importing field groups. You simply find the field groups that you want and with a few clicks move them to where they need to be. Now to help demonstrate that I've got an example set up in front of us. I've actually got three websites. One of them is going to act as our main site um, or our local site and then I've got two remotes. I've got remote one and I've got remote two set up here. Each of these or each of the three sites all have their own set of field groups and we're going to take a look at first of all how to connect um, to these remote sites and then how we go about importing field groups from those remotes and then uh, pushing field groups to those remotes. So the first thing we need to do, um, oh actually I should point out that each of these sites also has ACF Remote Sync installed on it and you can tell because you have this remote field group view on each one. Okay. So um, back on our main site, if we go and click that remote view, you will notice it has zero sites next to it. So if we click that, we'll see that we get um, basically an empty field group listing. But we do get this prompt with a link telling us or allowing us to connect sites. So I'm going to click that and that actually takes us to settings ACF remote sync. And in here we'll see that there is a field called connected sites. Now what we need to do is add two sites. Um, so we're going to add two rows and these fields tell us that we need to get the site domain and the access key. So let's do that now. I'm going to go to um, remote site one. I'm just going to get the domain from remote one, paste it in there, and then I'm going to go to settings, ACF remote sync on remote one, copy the access key and paste it into the settings field. And then I'm going to do the same on remote two. So I'm going to get the domain, f uh, yeah, get the domain first, paste it in here, and then I'm going to go to settings, ACF remote sync, copy the access key and paste it in here. Now when I update this and then return to the field groups view, you're going to see that the remote tab now has two sites listed and that's what we want to see. Now when I click on that, uh, we're going to be viewing um, uh, basically all field groups that are on the first remote we added. Um, well, technically, it's the, the remote top of the list, so which is more or less the default. So um, in this case, we're looking at remote one. If I want to switch to remote two, I just use the drop down select, let the page reload, and then we'll see all field groups from field group or from remote two. So let's take a look now at importing um, field groups. So if I want to import a field group, obviously select the remote you want and then uh, if there's just one that we're importing the easiest way is to use this import quick link all right so let's import remote one field group three i'm going to click that now and if i go to the field groups view we'll see that we have remote one field group three and if you would open that it would have all the field groups i'm um, sorry all the fields that were attached to that field group as well um, just to point out if that field group already existed locally um, and it, we use the actual group key to determine whether or not it exists locally, um, it'll be overridden. So you, you do have a way to, um, I mean, if you're using the same field group, the same field, uh, field group key, you can just basically update them. You won't get duplicates of the same field group, okay? All right, so that was looking at importing a single field group. So let's go and take a look at importing multiple field groups. Now I'm gonna do this from remote two, just for something different and we're going to import uh, field group 12, 13, and 15. Okay, I'm going to scroll to the bottom, use the import from remote bulk action, give it a second to load, and then we'll see that we've imported three groups. And if I go to the field groups view, we'll see that we have field groups 12, 13, and 15 imported from remote two. Okay, so that's basically how you go about importing from remotes. Now let's take a quick look at how you would push um, local field groups to a remote. Similar to importing, there, is, there are these uh, quick links. So I've just added this quick link called push. And if I click that, it's going to prompt me and ask me which remote. Um, let's send test group one to remote one. I'll confirm that. That says it's done. Let's go and open up 
the field group list view on remote one just to be sure and uh, you'll see down here if we scroll to the bottom we've got test group one so that's been pushed to remote one now if I want to do it in bulk I can do that as well let's check one and two use the uh, push to remote bulk action hit apply and select our desired remote or our target remote I'm going to hit confirm and that page is going to reload and that we're going to get that confirmation prompt and again if I open up the field group view for the uh, remote that it was sent to, scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see that we have our field groups there. Now just to show you that these don't um, create duplicates, I'm going to look at test group 1, see that it has one test field. Okay, so we'll close this tab. What I'm going to do is on my local, very quickly, we're just going to go to test group 1. We're going to uh, just create, oops, create a new field. Uh, spell and talk at the same time new field I'm gonna save that field group okay now come back to the field groups view let's push that again to remote one and we'll go and open up the field groups view on remote one take a look at test group one and we'll see that our new field is there on remote one as well so and we don't have a duplicate field group okay so that's basically um, version 1 of the plugin. I focused entirely on field groups for this initial release. I do want to see whether people get a lot of use out of this before I push hard on other features, but the planned features for this, uh, well, the next couple of planned features are support for post types and support for taxonomies, and beyond that there are some opportunities for more um, granular importing um, and a little bit more control over exactly what you import from a field group. So um, if you do want more information, a good place to go would be the docs for this plugin. So you can go to hookturn.io slash docs slash ACF dash remote dash sync slash 1.0 slash introduction. Um, you can actually just leave the introduction off, it'll redirect you here. But um, this is the documentation for the plugin. Have a read through it, and of course, if you have any questions at all, you can um, you can email me at support at hookturn.io, and um, I'll come back to you with answers to all your questions.